betrayed the Arab, and they seek safety in the Arab land, and then they betrayed the Arab. So, yes, you don't have to like it, but Jews migrated there. It was under the Ottoman Empire, and the Ottoman Empire said, yes, as individuals, you could come and live here, but you can't have your own state. So, yes, many Jews migrated there and became citizens there. So why did 700,000 Palestinians get expelled from their land? Because in 1948, five Arab Muslim armies invaded Israel, the newly created Jewish state, and they out kicked out land. all the Jews, and the Jews said, right, we know what you want to do, unless we get a country which is majority Jewish, you'll do the same here as well. And they got lucky as well. Mind you, I think God helped them. Because so I believe in God. So you think God, so you, you believe that God is happy for 700,000 Palestinians to be kicked out of their land and rendered stateless? Well, you say rendered stateless, when you go to another country, you take on the citizenship there. All around the world, people migrate as refugees and get refugee status and then full citizenship. Why don't those Arab Muslim countries allow the Palestinians to be full citizens? All the, Arab, all the not, Jews who not, fled from the Arab lands were given Israeli country. citizenship. They want to go back to their country where their ancestors grew up where they had land stolen already, from them. The know, land was in stolen. Palestine, there are Palestinian refugee camps. Isn't that sick? All the, all the refugees who fled from the Arab countries were given full Israeli citizenship, but the Palestinian refugees were not given citizenship, even in their own that's Palestine. Not, that's not even true. The Palestinians have citizenship in Lebanon. Palestinians have they citizenship don't have Jordan, citizenship in Lebanon. Some of them don't they are still it. refugees. Some, no, some of they them... are still refugees. Okay, and they want to go back to their land, and Israel's denying them that land. No, why no, shouldn't? No, no, you're no, no, no. wrong. You're wrong. Why shouldn't a Palestinian? You're why wrong. shouldn't a Palestinian you're in wrong. Lebanon? Why You're shouldn't wrong. a Palestinian in Lebanon go back to their land, but an American Jew who never set foot in Palestine has the right to get Israeli citizenship yep. in Palestine? I'll answer that. That is that. a disgrace. I'll answer that. When there's a peace deal, those Palestinians will be able to go live in the Palestine, Palestine, and Jews who can go and live in they Israel. Don't even allow the right That's of the way it is. The Israeli it is. government doesn't even allow the right of return. That's because so far there aren't two states. When there's two states, that wasn't even, then they'll be able to go to Palestine. And that wasn't even part of the peace deals that were proposed, the peace deals that you talk about so proudly. Yeah. That wasn't even part of the peace deals, the right of return, which is the right of hundreds of thousands, now millions of people who have been estranged from their own country, whose grandparents had their houses stolen from them. They still have the keys to their houses. You're telling me that that is justified. And you no. believe that in the eyes of God that is justified. We no. do not believe in the same God. I believe no. in a just God. Good. You believe so in something unjust. So do I. You and believe the in Arabs something were brutal. to attack Israel in 1948 and in 1967 Israel and in 1973. In 1948. But going, going back to those Palestinian refugees, when there's an independent Palestine, the deal is it's up to that Palestinian government if they allow those refugees to go back to the Palestinian state. The PCs doesn't even allow government that level of control of does, their own land. Does. If you look into does. the Oslo Accords, if you look into the does. peace deals, they were a joke. And this is why both the Israelis so, and the Palestinians didn't accept so it. So I say the Palestinians' leadership should get, take up Israel's offer, as per the United Nations, and negotiate what they both agree to. Until then, the temporary defensive occupation will continue. I want it to end. It won't end without, uh, without negotiating, so negotiate as soon as possible. So what do you think uh, should happen to that current Israeli government that says there is no such thing as Palestine? There. They're not due for two years, I wish they're tomorrow. The I right. hate the Israeli government currently at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And if he wants to speak out against it and say nasty names, you well, you, you're welcome to, you can. Yeah, it's a bad government. And it's bringing, bringing bad image to Israel. It's almost justifying Hamas doing what they're doing, because people around the world say, well, it's not very nice, but look at Netanyahu and those other extremists. Can you blame the Palestinians? Now, I don't blame them, but I think it's a grey area, it's a grey area. What would I do if I, if I was supposed to negotiate with people who wouldn't negotiate, like Netanyahu and Netanyahu and Ben -Gavir? doesn't leave you many options. How do you negotiate with someone who controls your water supply, controls whether you can go in and out of your country, controls whether you can get a job, controls whether you can travel? How do you negotiate with that kind of okay, person? Okay, I'll answer. Firstly, there's nothing to stop the Palestinians building their own electricity power stations. They've actually built a few. They've been given money to build more, but they've wasted it on terror tunnels, etc. They, they can make, they can use, they, they've got a small water desalination plant. 
Israel's built lots for Israel. Palestinians built hardly any for themselves, so they have to get uh, water from Israel. I wish they build up more water desalination plants in Palestine. You're telling me that this kind of this strip of land, which is militarized borders, they don't even have right to their most of their uh, uh, ocean. At the moment, yeah, you're telling moment. me that you can, they can build some sort of uh, modern metropolis there. Are you, yeah, what are you describing yeah. here? No, it is. I've been to Gaza. There's blocks of flats everywhere, just like anywhere else, just like yeah, Syria or Jordan. Places. There were blocks of flats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Israel when I went there, they Israel were literally controls the amount of destroyed. calories that they get. Israel literally controls the amount of calories that they get through the border. Yes, of course they do. This is, this is documented that Israel... Do you know, if Palestinians from Gaza used to go and work in Israel, now yes, they've stopped they that. Now they've stopped Why that. Why would they go to Israel? Why not go to Dubai or Singapore, a place like that which is just as crowded? Oh, they they, they are like using Dubai their, their why why Sovereign don't why don't the Palestinians use their aid money wisely? They've had more aid per head of population than any other people in history. And what have they done with it? What have they done with it? They're trying Anyone, to survive. Hamas, Hamas, you are the leadership live in Qatar in five-star hotels. Yaya Sinwar in Palestine is hiding under, under hospitals. Yeah, you're, I you're, blame you're Hamas. Here. Do you think Hamas would be good for Palestine? Do you know, when I went to Palestine, it was under Yasser Arafat, the Palestinian Authority. It was quite nice. Yasser Arafat but was played since... around like a little child. Yasser Arafat well, was, he was, the was played leader. about. He's the Palestinian leader. OK, they haven't got good government in the, under the Palestinians. I feel sorry for them. I wish they had nicer governments. Yeah, yeah. But they, all they got is what they got. Gaza. All they got is what they got. Yes, Arafa was in the West Bank. He was, he was, he was the head Gaza. of the Palestinian Authority, which was the West Bank and Gaza. No, no, no. When Hamas came to power, when Hamas came to power, Why they killed all the all the people. Hamas is not the point. And took total control. See, this is a deflection. Of this is, this is it's not. They're all it's valid not. points. No, and they're everyone not. is allowed to talk Why, about then? these points. Why? In a democracy with free speech, he's allowed to talk about them. I'm allowed to talk about them. If you don't like free speech, don't come to speaker's corner. Hamas is not the point. The point is, Hamas is not the point. Can you believe it? Hamas is not the point. No. They rule Gaza. They fired thousands so of missiles in so Israeli so we have cities. We have Tories. We have Tories ruling They're us. not the point. That doesn't mean that yeah, yeah, our, yeah. our government we is a corrupt like that, the Palestinians don't need enemies, do they? So when the UK invaded Iraq and killed millions of people there, are you telling me? Are you telling me? Are you telling me? No, oh, okay, that, that's fine then. All right, <laughs> seventy thousand. Uh, All that's, those that's okay, days afterwards, were Sunnis and Shia killing each other in a struggle for power. Okay, so when the UK invaded uh, Iraq, Iraq and yeah, killed yeah. hundreds of thousands How of people, many was, even yeah, over yeah. a million, yeah. currently still people suffering from birth defects because of the chemical attacks on Fallujah. You're telling me that maybe the Iraqis could have come and attacked us just because yeah. the government did that. Exactly. Each case is that, is that what you're saying? Merit. No. Is that what each, you're saying? I each think case you on have its own merit. Western exceptionalism. You don't merits. believe in the right of Arabs to fight for their own rights. We even help you them. Don't, you, you don't, don't humanize British Arabs. Gave you don't believe the Arabs are to human. The Arab countries. The oh, Arabs thank you. used to be under thank you. Ottoman Turkish rule. Thanks to the British, Saudi Arabia is no longer under the Ottoman Turks. They are a fully independent functioning country as are United Arab Emirates and others. Yes, the Syrians and Lebanese were given independence by the French. Syria's made a mess of it, and Hezbollah have made a mess of Lebanon. No, we gave them all democracy. How they <laughs> dealt with it afterwards is up to them. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you, are yeah. you are incredibly naive. But Lebanon used to be under Christian control. Then it was a great country. All, all the Switzerland and the Middle East. Would you live in Afghanistan? Hezbollah took control. Would you live in Afghanistan? Well, why an absurd question? Why would they do that? Why not? You, you were laughing at him too, saying that he's really a democracy. Here. So would you live in Afghanistan? That's Name me one Middle East country yes, with democracy. Yes or no? Would you live Name in Afghanistan one. and the, the Taliban and the Sharia? Would I wouldn't. Would you live in the Yemen under the Houthis? What? Would you like oh, to live in Saudi? Would you like to live in uh, Somalia under no. Al Shabaab? No. Would you like to live under? Um, Why I you think ISIS and Al Qaeda have got most of North Africa. Why are you them? asking yeah. me? Would you like to live there? Because yeah, you laugh so at his right. claim that Israel didn't bring democracy. When people in Muslim countries they live under dictatorship. I, as a woman, don't have rights in a Muslim country. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, fewer I don't. I know Islam, but and I know what happens. Fewer rights than in the West.
she can wear whatever headgear she likes. In Iran, 400 women have been shot because they haven't been wearing the hijab either at all or not correctly. Why relevant to the oppression of the Palestinian people? You are just showing yeah, that the world Israeli that Arabs have better know. rights in she Israel than Kassia. in Palestine. Kassia. They suffer because of Hamas. It's a terror yes. organization. Absolutely. She's a much right to fight. They're freedom fighters. So I want, I want the people of Gaza the biggest to have elections and vote for who they want. The biggest terror religion is Islam. Mohammed said I will cast terrorists into the unbelievers. That's it. Terrorism is Islam. I was told about that, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. All religions have done good, good in the world and bad in the world. The Christian world has done atrocious things. The Crusade. First World War, that 18 million dead, Christians in Europe killing other Christians in Europe. Bad things we've done and good things in Christianity, same with Islam. The best time of the world was the golden age of Islam. That was a great time. Since then, the Muslim world has stagnated under corrupt well, leadership, then, and so it's not, getting, it's not getting the full benefit <laughs> from the Quran. But if they return to the Quran properly, be a much <laughs> visit the United Arab Emirates. These are the United Arab Emirates. Women can dress how they like, prosperous. I feel safer in, safer in Dubai than I do in London. Wow. You have no understanding of geopolitics. Oh, I do. I do. It's some sort of beacon of peace. The United Arab Emirates. It's the best example of a Muslim country, is what I mean. You're ridiculous. It's not great. The United Arab Emirates funds proxy wars in Sudan. It funds proxy wars in. Yeah, always. Muslims killing Muslims. Muslims oh killing Muslims. So Are you upset Sudan? about the half Muslims a million Yemeni that died in the last well, few Yemen, years? Muslims 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 where, where, where is the protest and outrage? I am upset. And I'm upset that in the Lebanon, US gives Saudis the weapons Muslims to kill those Christians. Yemenis. That upsets so why don't you go and protest? Why? Because the Jews, you said that the Arabs don't have a right to Good defend, but it's actually the Jews that, in your great. opinion, because why Why? Why aren't the Muslims protesting against that? The Arabs are living there for centuries. What business do the Polish people American one people Quran, or Hungarians you one Quran. have coming and displacing people from the land that they've been living Imagine in for hundreds of years. Why aren't you, don't you care about the human rights? Huh? Why don't you care about the human I, I, rights? You I, I don't care. care. About human you don't care. I care about human you, rights. You don't course, care because in Islam, to be Islam teaches the hatred of the Jews and no, the Christians. It's in your Quran. Where did you in your learn Quran. That? Where did you learn in your Quran, we're the worst of creatures. Yeah. Are Jews described as monkeys and pigs in the Quran? Yes, they are. No, you've taken something completely out of context. You've, you've taken a, this is a ridiculous kind of statement. It's what it says. It says, be ye monkeys and pigs. No, and another part is that it in talks about pigs. a particular group of people who disobeyed God and therefore they were turned into monkeys and pigs. It's not you're taking something out yeah. of context and misleading people. Yeah. Yeah. I no. think that's disingenuous. I, I, I like the read, Quran. Have you read what the what I was saying is, said about it's not always in the context. Jews. That's why it hasn't produced perfect results. Anyway, I'm going to leave this conversation. Um, whilst I agree mostly with the Zionist Christian, I disagree with the fact that, um, you know, it says UAE is a safe country. Um, you know, many uh, people who are living um, in Dubai, they're getting arrested just because of an accusation. Um, many Western people, so... Um, but it's good that it's here to talk.